Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your March intuitive reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this will be your general reading for the month of March. It can be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, or to the Virgo cross watchers, okay? Dealing with um, a Virgo. So let's jump into it and have a look what's coming up. Okay, let's start off with the first column, two of wands, and you sort of have the two of pentacles there too. So uh, potentially a little bit of indecisiveness coming up around you, Virgo. You might be in two minds uh, or someone might be choosing. Okay, I definitely feel it's either you or someone else who has the element of choice. And that seems to be thematic for you for the month of March, okay? Two of Wands can be a fire sign, okay? You might be choosing between fire and earth. You also have water here. Um, but it can be a decision that needs to be made and it can certainly symbolize adventure or travel opportunities. Um, it can indicate being back and forth, um, even adding a potentially another income stream. Uh, it can also indicate choosing between locations, uh, immigration statuses, anything sort of tied into foreign ventures, foreign um, connections. It could even be entering a long distance relationship or even having that person coming to visit you. Travel, for some reason, seems to be on the cards for you um, in a major way here. So it could be minor trips. It could be major trips, Virgo, but that's coming up around you. So you might be um, choosing, okay? Element of choice here, a little bit of indecision, or there's someone very close to you who's going to display um, bouts of indecision, okay, in some way, shape, or form. Um, as I said, it could be accruing another asset, another income stream, uh, you know, having two different components or you really concentrating on two goals or two areas of your life. Uh, but look, you know, he's comfort, he, he's very comfortable at the top of his castle. He's got his fortifications and he holds the world in his hands here. So he's potentially ready to leave, okay, ready to leave the known, ready to leave the familiar. Um, potentially a new life awaits here, Virgo. So it could be quite a momentous month for you. Um, so it could be a, a new things are on the horizon here. Your future is being played out um, or leaving something very familiar, leaving a home, a neighborhood, a college, leaving behind a friendship circle, a living situation even. Um, and it could be for the purposes of work. The Knight of Pentacles uh, is known for the monetary realm, yes. Uh, he's known for his stability um, and the offers. Okay, there could be a job offer or a monetary offer coming your way. One that seems quite promising the knight is the last knight of the deck, so there's something quite refined and sophisticated about this knight. So there's an element of sophistication here. I definitely feel like you're leveling up here, Virgo. It might be with money, pay, uh, the way you're looking, what you're doing. Um, you might be reaching new heights and really accelerating in different areas of your life, absolutely. Uh, there could also be, because the knight and the king come up in the same column, uh, it could be two different approaches, okay, two very different opinions or viewpoints on a matter, and that could be coming up around you this month. It could be between yourself and another person, but you're both taking very, very different stances on something. The Knight of Pentacles could be you as the pentacle, uh, and it could be that you are wanting to, you know, you're happy where things are, you want things to stand still, you want to enjoy what you have. Um, it could be that you're very happy, you're very complacent where you are, but there could be someone rushing or urging you here. Um, and that, that pressure, it could be from a boss or a lover or an ex. You may feel that element of pressure with the King of Wands because he has a bit of an anxious uh, disposition here. You can see that he sits on his throne. He doesn't exactly look comfortable on his throne down here. Almost like he wants to get up or he's ready to get up, ready to make the move. So um, it can even be anticipation something that you've anticipated. Uh, the time might be ripe and ready uh, for something here, but something you've anticipated could definitely uh, come full circle, uh, coming to your path uh, this month. You know, you've got the world card. You're definitely connecting and revealing things to other people. It could be revealing secrets. Um, it might be the launching of a business. Um, you might be going live with something. You might expose something, some sort of information here. You might be sharing a lot, okay? The world is all about connecting uh, people, uh, connecting yourself with others. 
uh, professionally, creatively, romantically, it could be dating apps. Are you really putting yourself out there on a platform, but you're sharing, you're sharing quite a lot, but you're ready to share it or you're ready to come out with it or you're ready to tell the world um, or you're ready to share big news. I mean, uh, the world, you've got a beautiful angel here or what looks like Cupid and the angelic symbolism here is a message, okay? Angels were intermediaries. So I feel like you're ready to share big news. You're ready to share it with your intimate circle of friends, maybe your extended family members, maybe a special person in your life. Um, maybe you're ready to tell them your deepest, darkest secrets. And maybe it's you even ready to tell, uh, ready to tell someone how you really feel. Uh, the Ace of Cups is sits below the World card, and that can be that outpour of emotion, water symbolizing emotion. So if this isn't you sharing big news, Virgo, there's someone sharing big news with you uh, or celebrating big news with you. It could be new additions to the family as well. Absolutely. Uh, but the World card can also be completing something, okay? Completing something from start to finish. Could be a review. It could be a book. It could be a project you've been working on. Um, it could even be wrapping up a relationship, um, sometimes, you know, we're, we're ready to complete one phase of our lives and move, move on to something else. Um, but she holds a lot of optimism here. So I'm optimistic that whatever it is you're completing or wrapping up, um, it's part of your path here, Virgo. So, um, you'd be wise to remember that, um, during this time. But it could definitely be adventure and travel plans, um, meeting or connecting with foreign people and getting involved in foreign environments, something about your world changing. And I don't know if it's it's because of news. I don't know if it's because of inner or outer transformation, but things are really going to come full circle here. So you're going to be um, tying up those loose ends here, Virgo. Uh, so that's exciting here. Um, but something about perception. OK, and again, I, we, we go down to the two of pentacles, which has that two of wands above it. And there could be that it could be that you're choosing, OK, or you're indecisive about something. Maybe you're not ready to make a, a, a major decision. And maybe it is something major. Maybe it is moving. Maybe it is ending a relationship. Maybe it's a beginning a relationship or it could even be hesitation. Maybe you're not ready to share the news. You're not ready to herald or to communicate what it is that you've been feeling. And if this is someone you're dealing with, Virgo, you may see this indecision. And oftentimes thoughts can contradict behavior and vice versa because there's there's some sort of motivation or there's some sort of factor here that's keeping this person from pursuing something or keeping them holding back or whatever it is, whatever they're sort of displaying or saying to you, there might be hypocrisy or even contradictions. And it could definitely happen in a career. Um, there could be a client that changes their mind. Uh, it could be that someone you're seeing, you know, they might say one thing to you, but then act out something completely different. And that could leave you in a state of confusion. Oftentimes with the two of two of anything, it, it presents options. Suddenly we're weighing things up. Suddenly things look a different way. So I definitely feel perception is going to change. Um, it can be seen as a bit of a juggling act here. So again, you might be juggling between two different partners, two different connections, two different um, opinions. Um, it can just be juggling everything all together. It can be that you need to manage your time better even. But there's only so much of that you can do. Uh, for some of you, it could even be like you're carrying the team or you're carrying a relationship because you're making all the decisions. Maybe it's you that's taking a lot of initiative. Maybe it's you that's carrying the connection, the relationship, the project. And there's only so much of that you can handle, Virgo. So I feel like um, there might be a question here of how much are you willing to tolerate or where do you draw the line? Uh, when is enough enough here, Virgo? So I think it's important you don't let people take advantage because you can be this way. Uh, you know, you can fuss about people and it comes from a good place because you care and, and you want them to know you care. Um, but is their indecisiveness going to put you off a little bit? It may. Okay, perception will change and perception is everything, Virgo. And seeing that, I feel like March could be a really pivotal month for you because you may see that sort of behavior and it may really speak volumes of uh, what's going on internally here in relationships, friendships and things of that nature. Is it the time pressure or a time limit? Maybe. The King of Wands, you know, he he's very fast paced, okay, unlike the Knight of Pentacles here. So I don't know which which role you're embodying this month, 
but the king of wands you know he wants to complete things but sometimes he doesn't always have the time or the focus or the motivation and it might be that throughout the period of March, you may lose motivation to finish something, or you might find that someone is losing interest or motivation to complete something with you. And it could be that they have an anticipated or somewhat unsettled energy about them, in particular a fire sign. I mean, you have earth here, so if you're dealing with an LA, uh, a fellow earth sign, you might see that. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you could see that unsettled energy. Um, but the king of wands definitely comes on strong. So you might have someone really coming on strong and you're more keeping them at a distance, maybe delaying things on purpose. Maybe you want things at a standstill. Uh, if you are the knight of pentacles in this reading, it's definitely you that might uh, delay things or it's you that says, you know, maybe you're in two minds and this is you that's like, okay, let me think about this. Let me mull this over. I'm not, I'm not ready to commit or I'm not ready to go ahead with this project or I don't feel comfortable, but... The king of wands is someone, I mean, it can be a lot of passion, okay? It can be their passion that's, you know, coming across as a little bit intense. It can be their interest that's coming um, on quite intensely. And it can definitely be a romantic connection. The king of wands does rule fire, which is lust and passion and sexuality. So some of you might have a fire king coming through. You might have a fire sign uh, who's really determined to get things going with you. Um, if it's not that, then the king of wands brings an adventurous streak. Um, he's quite open-minded and adventurous and you've got the world card. So you definitely might do things a little bit sporadically. Now, oftentimes you like to pre-plan things, Virgo, and, and, and double check and triple check and, and know your routine and where you're heading. Um, but I feel like month, uh, March could be a month of exceptional adventurism here where you're really just going with the flow. And that's what the King of Wands does. He's driven by desire, passion, yes. And ultimately he, he experiences you know, the, some of these amazing experiences because of that sort of attitude. And you might find that you're either slowly adapting to that, adopting that kind of attitude. You might see this attitude exhibited by those close around you. But, it, but then again, he almost like leers at the two of pentacles. Um, taking out elements and signs and things, if you look at the king and how he's looking towards the two, it's almost for his amusement. Uh, and this person almost looks a bit worried, okay? Almost just trying to keep the pentacles afloat. You know, he's distracted. He's very focused on this. But the other one is almost entertained, you know? And, and the king was entertained by music and, 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 and bards and, uh, and, and pages and things like that. And he almost resembles a little page of pentacles, this character for me. And it could be that someone's enjoying you watching someone's enjoying watching you do the work virgo and i don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing i don't know if this is someone's using it purely for entertainment purposes or someone might be i don't know if they're actually enjoying it but it could be that someone's looking on into what you're doing and is, is, is trying to absorb that. Maybe they could be learning from you. You know, it could be someone in the workplace watching how you do things, trying to get the ins and outs. Maybe they're a competitor. Okay, the King of Wands is known to be, to have that competitive streak. Um, if it's someone romantically, then it could be that this person is watching you do all the work. Uh, they, you know, they've, they've got the motivation to get up and help you and, and do things, but they haven't. As much as the king wants to, there's a want there, but the want isn't strong enough for him to get up and, and do the action. So I'm wondering if there is a situation potentially here for you in March, Virgo, where someone is watching you juggle things, someone is watching you take on a lot, and they're not reaching out and helping you. So it's more like they're sitting back and, and watching and, and waiting. And it could be a calculated move, okay? You can't mistake the king of wands. He can be a tricky fellow. Um, he can oppose us in a lot of ways. Um because it's fire energy. So there could be opposition. It could be that this person opposes to what you're insisting upon doing or having with them. And you'll see that it's either they're going to help you. It's sink or swim. And you're going to see that sort of behavior, I feel, uh, in the month of March. Uh, last but not least, you do have the Ace of Cups, which is uh, very beautiful. It often indicates a brand new chapter, water being emotion. It can be a water sign coming in, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a very profound emotional bond or connection that's being built. In particular, if it is with someone online or at a distance, 
It could be a foreign lover. It could be someone quite exotic. It could be someone you've met that lives at a distance from you. Um, it could be someone that you've met on travels or may meet on travels in the month of March. So uh, the Ace of Cups can also have a religious connotation or some sort of cleansing energy. Um, it could be that you're forgiving people. It could be that people are forgiving you. It might be that you're moving on, Virgo. Some of you are emotionally moving on and you're ready for change. You're ready for the new. You've got the bird here, the dove, which can be a messenger. Again, an important message. But considering the hand of God is pictured in this card here and you've got God's chalice, I'm wondering if it is a message from the divine, from the divine sources, whether it's God or angels or your spirit guides or the law of attraction. It could be something, a, a, a powerful um a powerful message here, uh, Virgo. I do feel like it's a powerful message and it definitely comes from divine intervention, but it could be someone who is uh, very emotionally influential over you at this point in time, like a lover or an ex or someone you're wanting to connect with, um, someone you're building some sort of emotional attachment to. But it can be proposals for some of you. It can be finding a new spiritual path. Uh, for some of you, it's an outpour of emotion. So this may come as a confession. You might be revealing something. Okay. Um, again, coming back to that, um, coming back to the world card and, and be, being exclusive and, and sharing things uh, with the people that are around you. There's definitely things you might be sharing. Okay. Because of that outpour. Um, and it could be joy, just emotional joy and bliss. Absolutely. It can also be someone who is extending an offer of love to you. Uh, they want something serious because it's it's an emotional connection uh, and it's the hand of God. The Holy Grail is, is very important here. So they're obviously offering you something of value. I mean, the Ace of Cups can also be a new creative endeavor, can even be a new job offer, um, some sort of new chapter here, new person, new event or project or new hobby. It could even be, just as I said, leaving the old um, leaving behind the familiar and coming into something brand new and powerful. Um, and you're going to start that ace on a very powerful note, emotionally speaking, at least. So that is a very, very exciting for you, uh, Virgo. But I will leave your reading at that. So thank you again so much for tuning in.